<laughs> like, uh, and they said, oh. I enjoy your Luna stories. Do you have any more Luna stories most people have never heard? No. Don't feel obligated to do the voice. <laughs> we don't want you to hurt your throat. Well, Luna stories that people have never heard, like. Well, I, I can tell you things that what people might not know about Luna. Like, all right, so you hear a lot of stories about uh, her fighting or, or mixing it up or, or, or doing something wild. Bizarre, but we don't know about her. She's, she's very, um, she's a very insecure person. And she just wanted to be loved and liked by everybody. So she go out of her way and, and above and beyond to, to try to make everybody in the room happy, comfortable, this and this and that. And um, usually when you would see or a wild story would come out of that, nobody would remember all the nice things she was trying to do. But when somebody would crap on her or do something really sh crappy to her, that she just went out of her way to do all this is when she would lose her mind and, and, and end up, you would hear a story about her beating somebody up, this and that. But so with that all being said, I'm going to tell you a story. And the story is... Um, a Luna fight story. <laughs> so, all right. So we're working in um, Tennessee, working for uh, Jerry Jarrett. All right. So uh, it was one of his towns. I think it was Knoxville, Tennessee, but it was for USWA, but it was a Jerry Jarrett town. So um, I was on the show and Luna was in WWE at the time, WWF at the time. And she comes in and they wanted to use her and stuff, which, you know, I would tell her, you don't got to work or nothing. She goes, no, it's okay. You know, and she'd come out and want to manage. But they would always wanted to work Jacqueline. You know, Jackie? Mm -hmm. Jacqueline, right? So, um, so <laughs> she comes up to me and she goes, I'm working Jackie. And she loved Jackie. She loved Jackie. Um, she goes, but she clotheslines me in a year one more time. I I'm, I'm going to beat her up. And I'm like, um, you can't beat her up. But yes, I am. She clotheslines me in a year. I go, how about telling her? She goes, I have told her. I said, how about asking her again? Like, just go say, hey, please, don't, just don't clothesline me in the ear, you know, this, or show her how to throw the clothesline. And then I watched her. She went over and talked to her. Ah. I go, okay, all good? She goes, yeah, 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 it's all good. So they go out there, and the match is going, blah, 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 blah. And then out nowhere, clothesline to the ear. So um, I believe Jacqueline was supposed to go over in this match. But she clotheslined Luna at the ear. Luna, like, this no soul, got up, blasted her, took Jackie's hair, wrapped it up in her hand. Like, I'll be pictured her in a ring, right? So she wraps her hair up her hand and throws her over the top rope. Like, so like, you got Luna, like, ah, yeah, I'm sad about that. I'm not kill you. So she pretty, like, you know, you're throwing somebody over. It almost looked like a, a, a press slam over, but she's got her hair. So boom, Jackie stops. So she's dangling, like, like facing the crowd. So her body's facing the crowd, right? Luna's inside the ring, facing the crowd. It's got Jackie's hair. And Luna just is up and pop, 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 just wears her out, drags her in, and pins her, pins her, and <laughs> one, two, three, and then, um, I'm like, oh my gosh, and I, and I was a manager, I believe I was managing, I was out the ring, I was watching it, but I think I was out, actually out there managing, like, out there with her, like, ballet type of thing, um, so, <laughs> Road Dog, Brian, Brian James, Road Dog, uh, of DX fame, uh, He's a good dude, Road Dog. Love that guy, Road Dog. Road Dog, but he was, it was him. And and then I'm gonna get Wolfie D on there. You guys don't know PG13, but Wolfie wants to come on the show. I don't. You know Wolfie D from PG13. Well, now I do. After you schooled me on it. Uh, yeah, Wolfie. Yeah, PG. He wants to come on. He's gonna come on because he's starting a podcast. He wants me to come on. He's like, oh well, you gotta come on this one. I never asked nobody, but I said you gotta come on this. He goes, and he wanted to tell the ghost stories because he remembers the ghost stories about the house and and Tennessee oh, uh -huh. because he told me no. Remember when Luna was yelling at the ghost? I go, I don't remember any of that. You gotta come on here and sort this all out. So um. I first guest so yeah so uh brian brian road dog was he's there and he's like luna jackie said you suck a puncher and you can never do that again she's in the locker room over there and Luna's like she said what ah. so <laughs> luna knocks on the door well she doesn't knock on the door she thumps on it like andre the giant like oh, boom, boom, boom. sounds like <laughs> jackie opens the door and she just blasts her again pow drops her and just starts beating her up i'm like oh i'd pull her off and um, I got fired for that. Mm. <laughs> they didn't fire Luna. She's in WWF. They fired me. And uh, because the, the, the uh, there's Jeff Jarrett, Jerry Jarrett, and then there's the uh, Eddie Marlin. It was actually Eddie Marlin's town. Their dad. The, 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 it was Eddie Marlin. And he goes, David, I can't have women fighting and beating each other up like this. I go, I, I didn't. I, I, I said, I didn't beat anybody up. He goes, yeah, but I got to let you go. I go, oh. Okay, but I, I didn't. I can't control. Uh, he goes. What? And then he goes. Yeah, I just can't have this. That's that's not normal. That is not okay. And I go. No, I, I agree. But you 
put her on the show. I didn't, but whatever. You want to fire me? That's fine. I was like, all right with it because I was ready to go home anyways. And uh, and I told him, you got me fired. She goes, but she said I told you. I'm like, I'm like, easy, easy, easy. All right, I'll take the firing. Whatever. It's better than getting yelled at by you and, and all this other stuff. So uh, like 15 minutes later, he comes back and uh, he just goes, you know, I, I, I Acting a little, su- I, you're not fired. <laughs> he goes, but, but you need to control her. I go, uh, just try not booking her. <laughs> like she was a day off anyway. He's like I go, I can't control her, I, you know. And so, you know, but that's a Luna story. Maybe nobody's ever heard the, the Luna with the Jacqueline and the Road Dog stirring up. So Road Dog actually got her like wore out twice because of that, you know. Yeah, she's in there saying you sucker puncher, but yeah. But Jackie's on. Jackie's a very tough girl. And a lot of guys would like. Take advantage hitting on her, you know. She proved her tough. She's by all means tough, but everybody has their day. I guess suppose that was her day, and Luna, Luna's good. But I've I've been on both ends. I've had both days, good and bad. So yeah, shit happens. <laughs> well, Luna did say don't close liner in the Yeah, end. she did. And Jackie's did. probably just trying to prove something. Who knows? They might have had somebody else start. Rope Brian could have been stirring it up with Jackie that whole time. Or maybe it was an accident. Or. It's just an accident. Maybe an accident. Ooh, yeah. that's an interesting story. Yeah, yeah. But that, that might be a story nobody's ever heard of Luna, but, you know. But Jackie's a sweet girl. Great, great human. Like, I love her. She's good. Whew. That was a crazy story. 